There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, that's a lot. Good for her. That's a good nest. You gonna stay right there, sweetie? Just a little gentle tap on the nose to say back up. Don't kill Chandler. So as you can see, she's a great mother. Out of a lot of different species of reptile on the planet, crocodilians have to be the best at taking care of their young. Even though a lot of people think they're nasty, cannibalistic reptiles that are just out to eat and breed, the reality of it is they're great parents. They take care of their nests all the way until they hatch. And even after they hatch, they'll watch after their young for about a year to even two years. And then eventually the alligators will scurry on and live their lives. What's going on beautiful people? Welcome back to my wildlife. I'm here at the Everglades Alligator Farm, an old home to me because I used to work here about a couple years ago. This is my good friend Luke and this is Omar and uh, we're going to be collecting alligator eggs today. If you look right here we got a lovely little female American alligator. She's defending her nest and inside there there should be a good pocket of eggs, around 30 eggs. And obviously she's defensive. They're great parents, they defend their nest and they protect their babies with their lives. So what we're gonna do is Omar and Luke are gonna come in, they're gonna watch the gator, we're gonna go and collect these eggs. Let's just get the buckets and get going. The main thing we have to worry about is not just the danger of the alligators, but making sure we make the manager here happy. Y'all boys better not miss it. Yes sir, yes sir. All right guys, we've got, oh, she's a little snappy, but that's okay, she's just being very defensive over her nest. She's a great mom. They put a lot of hay inside the enclosures, so the alligators They've got to have just enough vegetation to have it rot. It would be a good temperature for the eggs to incubate. If you come close, you can see. Oh, it looks like the male's coming. That must be the, the husband. If they are married, I hope so. <laughs> All right, if you look right in here, you can see that we got perfect looking eggs. I'm going to gently just pull back the vegetation. Look at this. Oh, that's a good egg. Let me just get some hay at the bottom of this so the eggs are nice and stable at the bottom. Perfect looking eggs. Oh, they're slimy still, too. Well, these are fresh. What, she laid these this morning? Yeah, they weren't here yesterday. Oh, yeah, they're super fresh. They still have the ooze on the side of the egg. This one doesn't look too good, but there's always a possibility of banding, so we'll put it right in there. And what I want to do is be very careful, because with reptile eggs, there's a little air bubble for the embryo right at the top of the egg. So if I actually shift the egg, the embryo will drown. So we got to be real careful about that. Out all these eggs. We got a dud egg right here. It got squished. That's okay. We can make some huevos rancheros. Isn't that right, manager? Perfect eggs. And I can actually see a little bit of banding right around there. After 24 hours, you'll know that there's actually a fertile embryo inside the egg developing. If you see banding, that's a signature sign of seeing that there's a little baby developing. If not, then the eggs weren't fertilized. And they will not incubate, they will not develop into a little baby. Look at that, it's like little Velociraptor eggs. Right down the mast. Perfect. All right, now I'm gonna take some more of the hay and layer it on top so I can start stacking on top of those. It doesn't look like there's a whole lot of eggs in here, but that's not an issue. That's probably like a first time nesting mother. She looks pretty young. She's only about like six feet long. So this is just a little, uh, little run, a little quick run for us. A little practice run because after this we have to go to these little islands in the swamp and collect eggs that are not too easy to collect so that's gonna be fun as you can see this is a crushed egg there's just nasty gunk in here and we won't let this go to waste we'll probably make some huevos rancheros out of it later the manager here's a great chef right <laughs> all right guys we're gonna cover the nest back up because she still is going to guard her nest and make sure it's nice and protected we'll check a little bit to the side actually because sometimes they'll hide another cavity of eggs it looks like we're good. She's a bit small, so she shouldn't have too many eggs. All right, cool. We got the first clutch. We got around eight eggs. I'm sorry, Mom. I swear we'll take good care of the babies. Okay, we got one egg right here. This one looks, oh, we got more eggs. There we go. Look at that. Perfect little egg. Put it right there in the bucket. Mat this down. 
There's a crushed egg covering this one, but they can easily clean the egg off a bit, take off that gunk, it'll be perfectly fine. Okay, there we go. Now we got some more eggs under here. This one's crushed, it's no good. Oh, there's a lot of crushed eggs in here. This one's a bit destroyed, but we'll still put it in. Because even if it's cracked a little bit, if you take care of the egg right, we'll still develop and hatch. <coughs> this is like a bunch of rotting eggs. That's a lot of fettuccine, man. <laughs> That's a lot of fettuccine. <laughs> oh, mama me. Oh, these, these guys need to get cleaned up. Look at all that. Nasty stuff. So in about two months, a little baby alligator will develop in this egg, and believe it or not, something that potentially gets 14, 15 feet long curls up perfectly inside that egg and comes out like a little gecko. Ready to take on the world. All right, it looks like that's about it for this nest. It's pretty mucked up and destroyed. Beatrice, we're gonna take great care of you kids. We have a daycare set up, don't worry about a thing. Don't, it's okay, it's okay. I am a certified daycare, daycare, daycare taker. For this third nest, I'm gonna pull back all this hay. There we go, look at that. Beautiful, oh that's a lot. Good for her, that's a good nest. You gonna stay right there, sweetie? Just a little gentle tap on the nose to say back up, don't kill Chandler. Look at that, that is a good looking nest. So as you can see, she's a great mother. Out of a lot of different species of reptile on the planet, crocodilians have to be the best at taking care of their young. Even though a lot of people think they're nasty, cannibalistic reptiles that are just out to eat and breed, the reality of it is they're great parents. They take care of their nests all the way until they hatch. And even after they hatch, they'll watch after their young for about a year to even two years. And then eventually the alligators will scurry on and live their lives. And you can see this big male behind her is probably the one that's been mating with all these females. He's running this back of the pond. And if any other males come in, he's going to beat their butts. He's going to whoop them. And they're going to have to move to a different part of the pond and find different females. She's a beautiful looking gator, and this is a great looking nest. There's probably about like 30 eggs right here. I know these guys are proud alligator farmers, right Omar? Yep. He's a proud, look right, you're a proud, proud alligator farmer. Very proud. Very proud. Very proud. So like I said before, it'll take about 65 days to incubate, so around two months for the embryos to turn to full formed little alligators, and then they can start living their lives, and they'll live off the yolk inside their bodies for about a week or two and instantly they'll start eating little grubs and guppies, anything they can find out in the Everglades. This is a really good nest. This is super exciting because growing up, I've collected alligator nests over the years and hopefully in the future, I'll be collecting crocodile eggs at my own facility. And it's always a pleasure to come over here back to the alligator farm and give them a hand. I love the animals here. I love the people here. And I love the manager. <laughs> you know. Perfect little eggs. Not as big as the other one because notice the female over there is around nine feet long. This one's only about six and a half, seven foot. So her eggs are way smaller. I'm sorry, sweetie. She will defend her eggs with her life. If a raccoon were to come up here and try to steal eggs from her, she'd kill that raccoon and eat it. Because they have to devote so much time to watching over their nest, they'll even go off food for a while. So if they can get a meal off a, a egg bandit, they will. That's why I gotta be real careful because she might want to take a chew at me. Even though I'm not on the menu, she will defend even against a person. Way taller than her, right? But it's okay because I'm your friend, right? You remember me from when I used to work here? Right? We Never mind. I guess we're not friends. <laughs> Perfect. This is awesome. There's a lot of eggs here. They're gonna have a very successful year producing these alligators. Now they actually take these alligator eggs into an incubator room. They incubate all the eggs, they hatch out and they have anywhere from 150 to even 500 eggs hatch out every year. And what they do with all these babies is other facilities that do educational demonstrations or they have alligators on display, they sell those alligators to those facilities. So it works out pretty well. That's a good looking egg. And this egg looks like it was laid probably two days ago. And I bet if I got a flashlight, you could see the banding. The band will be right here. That's how you know they're fertile. All right, cool. That looks like it's it. Wow, that was a really good nest. That was a lot of eggs. That was like around 30 eggs or so. I'm gonna put the nest back so she can still guard it and feel that she's got a good psyche about everything that's going on. And we'll move on to the next nest. I'm sorry about that. We're good, right?
the gators are actually right there, down that hole. You can see them. They're, they're mounting each other right now. Right there. So it's really neat about alligators mating. They're really, really gentle, and they're kind of funny when they start to mate. They blow bubbles to each other. They'll actually go up to another female, and they'll go, and the female's like, damn, no one's ever said that about me. And then they start mating. So they actually blow bubbles to each other, they, they court to each other, they rub up against each other, and they do like a little ballet underwater. You think these big primeval reptiles are just like, and all, you know, macho and running all over each other. But the reality is they're very gentle lovers and they're just pretty funny about it. I, the other day I actually got to witness wild alligators mating for the first time out in nature itself. And it was just funny watching all these big males come over and blowing bubbles. Look, they're courting each other into the deeper water. So the courting process starts in the shallow water, about three to four feet. He starts blowing bubbles, rubbing up against her, and then eventually they make their way into five, six feet of water where it's easier to mount the female. And they do their little ballet underwater. They have their little mating session. And then not too long after that, she'll build her nest and lay her eggs. So as you can see, the alligators here at the alligator farm are pretty healthy, happy, and content with life. You get them, dog. All right, guys, we're checking this other nest. I'm not sure if there's eggs in this one. There's nothing going on here right now. They're just testing holes and seeing where the best dirt is. I should probably give you a nest anyway now. All right, so this is the fun part. All the eggs we've been collecting are on the dry land, up high, easy to deal with the alligators because there's a slope they have to climb up to get to us. And here, this is low to the water. This is low swamp land that's basically threading out into the swamp with a little bridge for me to walk across. So, Ruth, you safely stay on these rocks. The boys are gonna guard you. I'm gonna go in there. You can actually see where there's kind of a nest being filled. I'm gonna go in there with a little mound and try to check for eggs. And if you look past the mound, there's a huge bull gator right there just hanging out. Even though usually females protect the nest, there's actually been some studies to show that the, the males are actually a little bit protective as well, whether it's over the babies or just the eggs. So I've gotta be real careful. All right, Ruth, look at this. That's a slide, that's a slide, that's a slide, that's a slide. And that's a big alligator that's been making the slides. That's Daddy Gator right there. The nest is actually past him up there on that mound. Can you see it? That big mound right over there. So Luke is going to protect you and make sure you don't get eaten because I'm sick of looking for camera people. All right, so you stay here, get a good shot, and Luke's going to protect you. Hey, big gator. Got a big mound right here. I gotta watch my back. That big male just went into the swamp over there. Most likely, he's gonna leave me alone. But I gotta keep my wits at home. Oh, yeah, that's solid. Alright, so there's no nest here. I'll be right back. There's another island. Alright, so there's no eggs in that mound. We're gonna move on and see if we can find anything else. Alright, we're leaving, but look, the male turned around. This is why you gotta be on top of your game all the time working with crocodilian. Even if they show signs of uh, fear, like they want to get away, they can still come back. Especially if they're in captivity, he's just being bad. So we're gonna leave them be. There's no nest here. We're gonna see what else we can find. All right guys, we've got a little nest from the female right here. We're gonna check all this rotting vegetation that she's got matted down, see if there's eggs somewhere in here. It's a bit of a mess. Looks like there's no nest here. We're gonna let her be. She's just trying to enjoy the shade. All right, beautiful people, we got a big bucket full of eggs. Big thanks to the alligator farm for letting me come over and help them collect. Thank you, Luke, for guarding me. Thank you, Omar, for guarding me. Look at you, big, big old unit right here. Big old unit. All right, guys, check out the Everglades Alligator Farm in Homestead, Florida. It's an awesome place. The place you can go furthest south to get on an airboat ride. And one of the only places that they'll actually spin the airboat with you on it. So that's a pretty fun ride. I'll see you on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe, but most of all, almost trip. Stay gangster.
the manager here's a great chef, right? 